Oxford A21 here. We're going to go camping. We're going to put the truck camper onto the back of the truck, and then we're going to hook up our boat. The campground we're going to has a nice lake on it, so one of the advantages of having a truck camper is you can still tow something. But because of the truck camper hangs down over your bumper, it's hard for your hitch to connect onto the back of your truck. So there's a couple things that we've got to do in order to tow something with a truck camper, and today we're going to go over that. This is a 3500 series truck. It's a Dodge Ram. Um, most trucks, like a 150 or a 1500, come standard with a class 3 hitch. And the way that you see this setup right here is normal. This is what you see most of the time on trucks. This is like a class 3. And the reason it's a class 3, um, because of the, the, the specifications on how much it can tow or the tongue weight of something can hold on that hitch. But a class 3, if you zoom up on this, you'll see that the sleeve is a two inch by two inch cube that goes inside that. That's not good enough for this, this what we're gonna do here. We need something a little more sturdier. So because this is a 3500 truck, it came standard with a class five hitch. And I'm gonna show you the difference right here. So I already unlocked this. So if I take my pin out of here, and I pulled this out. That's what everyone has right there. And this is a, a two inch ball on that. There's a sleeve here. And this little sleeve next this down to that to make a class five down to a class three. But for what we're doing, as much weight as we're gonna have on here pulling down on this, we need to use this class five hitch. So we're gonna take this sleeve away and we're gonna insert this later but what you look, if you look over here, this is what we're gonna use. We need to have an extension that slides into the back of our receiver and hangs out pretty far because this truck camper is gonna hang off the back of my truck a little bit and your boat wouldn't be able to connect onto it. Or when you turned, your camper would hit the tongue of your, of your boat or your hitch of the trailer. So we have to get this extension. Now if you, look at the size of this thing I'll just show you a measurement on this so it's like 55 and a half inches and this thing is very heavy um, it's really thick steel and this was longer than that I actually had to cut it down a little bit because when I slid it in it hit the spare tire up there before the hole could line up so I had to grind off a little bit of that before I could slide it in there but um, because of the weight of this, it kind of hangs down and you, you have to use a class five. So what we do is we take our sleeve out, we make it back down to a class five, and we're gonna take our extension. Now this thing's gotta weigh 40 pounds. And if you look at that, you can see how it's like double walled. It's, it's really heavy. So we're gonna line this in here. back in okay now on the end of this we're going from a five back down to a three and if you look at that we're at two by two so we, we went from a five down to a three and what that does without needing a sleeve it allows us to put our ball right into the end of this now I'm going to unlock this one of course everything's got locked on it Now, that's how you would hook up your boat onto your truck with a truck camper, but I'm a little bit leery about this setup here. Um, you know, if you hook your boat on here, your boat has two safety chains that would hook on right here. Well, what would prevent this from coming off of that besides this little pin? So what I did is I got myself a little section of chain here. Okay, so we'll put our chain on. So with our extra section of chain here what I'm trying to do is prevent this extension 
from coming off the truck. So I'm just running it through here and through the connectors on the truck. And you can see my little connection. Now I just hooked this one here. You can see that. So that's on there. Now it doesn't seem like much, but if you were to pull on that, just the, the angles of that chain right there kind of grab pretty hard. So it's just a little extra safety precaution so that this, if something happens to this pin or something, our sleeve can't come off of here. Um, one other thing that you got to do is get a little extender. So on your boat, you know, you have the little four prong connector on a boat. Well, it's going to be way back there and it's never going to reach your truck. So we have this extender and what I'll do is put this on here, plug it in and I'll just set it there. And now it's all ready for the boat. So what we're going to do now is jack up our camper, we'll back our truck underneath the camper, lower it down, hook it all up. Then I'm going to pull forward and I'll show you me connecting the boat on there and how it all looks up once it's all set up on there. Okay, so we're all hooked up. The camper is on the truck and then we backed up to our boat and we dropped the boat down onto the ball, the two inch ball. I stuck my pin through there and I got it locked on. Now, underneath, this is what we were talking about. You can see how this, this pole, this extension, has to reach all the way up there to the truck. And that's why you need it because of the overhang of the camper that hangs off the back of the truck. Here's our electric wires, the four pin, and here's the boat. Now you can see this would have never reached all the way up there to the truck. So that's why you needed this little extension, this piece of extra wire. And what we'll do is we'll just connect these together. Okay, so that's hooked up. Now we've got our cables. Some trailers have chains, safety chains. These are safe, safety cables. We'll crisscross them and we're going to connect them onto the extension. So they're hooked up. So that's it. Our wheel, our jack is all the way up. That's locked in. Our, our swivel for the tongue is, is connected with our pin. So it's all hooked up. We're ready to rock and roll and tow down the road. And if you can get a back view, and you can see the truck with the camper, the length of the extension, and then the boat. And this is how we're going to roll down the road. All right, so if you stay tuned, once we get up to the campground, we're, trying, we're going to try to put a nice camping video together, maybe even some fishing stuff. So stay tuned.
I've got a bike right here by the boat. Crap. What is that? Well, check it out. Yeah, baby. I think that's a chain pickerel. Yeah. Oops. There he goes. That's how we release them here on the Finger Lakes. That's how you release them. Now, that's like the tenth one I caught, but we're looking for bigger. Let's keep it going. Got one? Yeah. Wait, is that a pickerel or is that a pike? Oh, and that's how we release him here. Second time. Second time. We got him. Get him off the wee, bed, wee beds with the Rapala. What is that? The Rapala HJ14 in a fire tire. Fire, fire tiger. That's fire tiger color. Yep. 